Hey there, Adrian here from Quality Water in Aptos, California. I wanted to address a topic today that it's taken me a couple of years to figure out. I'm sure a lot of you may have figured it out way before me, but this I think is a pretty good method. So what it is, you have an RO faucet. Now you'll notice I removed the stem from it. Um, and the reason is it's time to install it. And I've always found that as a solo installer underneath the cabinet, it's uh, much better to have this without the stem on it to kind of influence how it swings. So I take it off. I put on, of course, the metal washer. I'm gonna leave this on because I'll be using this later, but the little rubber, and then it comes up here to the top, okay? Um, now, the thing is, is once I go into that cabinet and I start trying to put a nut on here, it is going to be pushing it all over the place and making trouble for me. So what I came up with, uh, and this is like a mock example of a countertop, what I came up with was these ankle weight sandbags. So I'm gonna try doing that and putting a nice weight on top of this thing so that when I push from below, it's not gonna go flying all over the place. And you'll notice it's soft material, it's not gonna mar the finish of the faucet. So now let's get down to what the real purpose of this video is. Underneath, sometimes we have easy access, you can just reach up with your hands and thread on the little, I think it's packing nut they call this, and then um, the you know lock washer there and then the actual faucet nut itself. But I have come into many situations where either this access is very, very difficult or maybe even worse, they have one of those false bottoms underneath the farmhouse type sink that you encounter sometimes. And you might be completely blind, barely able to reach this thing and not even being able to see it. How are you going to keep these three pieces together with your hand when you can't even reach it? It's a kind of an annoying problem. So I came up with this solution the other day via a coat hanger and I've refined it a little bit today. And that is this little device here. It's basically just a threaded little, um, you know, uh, pole, pole of some sort. Um, and the idea, this is a tube wrench. This is, I found this on our water treatment pros group. Somebody posted about it. This thing has been a total game changer. And if you have this in combination with this, here's what happens, okay? You put this inside, okay? comes up the top and basically I've delineated this with a little piece of uh, quarter inch tubing to know how far up this is going to go up into the faucet shaft to index it okay next piece is the nut okay which is what fits in the tube wrench and what is going to actually get tightened on and then of course you have your um, lock washer and then you have your little packing nut there now the beauty of this thing is, is once it's on there and once everything is in place, you'll see it can't just fall all apart. And this is the big problem when you're going to do this. So let's assume now I'm underneath. I just index this with this. I get that thing kind of shoved up in there and then I take that little pipe wrench and I start twisting it from the bottom. And then I remove this, okay? And suddenly it's threaded and I can just continue my merry way all the way to the top as if I was installing. Okay, that's it. Gonna be a huge game changer for me. I hope it is for you too. Thanks again.